went to a Waldorf school, which gave me a very strong artistic foundation. I started going to Green Meadow Waldorf School in fourth grade, and they have the students do these freehand geometric drawings and watercolor paintings and all this really great stuff. So I would have to say that my main foundation as an artist came from my Waldorf education. Everything inspires my art. There's not really one specific thing that inspires my art. I mean, I could go and list a bunch of artists that inspire me, but the reality is nature inspires my art a lot. Yoga inspires my art, meditation, breathing, being, everything. <laughs> Well, Alex and Allison hold workshops that are open to anybody, and they're very approachable and very friendly. I was persistent when I was young. I used to go to Cosm in Manhattan, and I first showed my little sketchbook to Allison, and she was like, hey, this stuff's pretty good. And as work developed over time, you know, they gained more interest in it, and I took a few workshops with them, and they've just been really inspiring to me, and I've been close to them for a few years now. In the summer, I am taking a visionary painting workshop in Italy, in an eco-village called Torre Superior, and I'll be studying with Amanda Sage, Lawrence Caruana, Maura Holden, and Andrew Gonzalez. And then in September I'll be going to Vienna, Austria, which is where the, some of those same artists are starting up the Academy of Visionary Art. I was actually the first student enrolled in that school. And I'll be studying there more oil painting techniques for at least a year. I'd like to go for three years. I'm just gonna sort of flow with it and work that out and trust that the universe will provide. Well, I would have to say that it did start with visionary experiences induced by certain substances such as mushrooms. And that sort of opened me up in a way to something beyond what we consider reality. And that led me into an interest in sort of reaching those places without the use of the substances. So I began to get into yoga and meditation practice. And I found that the yoga and meditation really helped open me up energetically to a creative flow so when I paint now it's really I don't even feel that the paintings like I don't plan them out or anything they kind of just flow through me so I feel the yoga and the meditation helps open me up energetically to the creative flow so it started with psychedelics moved on to yoga and meditation and art and creativity as a spiritual practice. My message to the world is... That's a good question. Connect to yourself. Find out who you are. Be yourself. 